Hi, this is Wes Fryer, and in this little screencast, I'd like to show you how to use some free tools to take an audio recording of a presentation and normalize the audio so it is not going to be uh, really quiet and really loud, and hopefully it's all going to be a consistent volume. And this is especially helpful when you're publishing, as I am today, an audio recording of a uh, present a conference presentation that we want to share out as a podcast so we're using a Sony digital recorder these are about fifty fifty five dollars I think you can get cheaper ones for around thirty five dollars um, but basically it is a digital audio recorder battery operated and it plugs in directly with USB I've actually got this one plugged into my computer right now and so what you see in the background here is the program audacity if you're not familiar with Audacity, Audacity is a great tool. Um, it is free. It is open source. And what I have done is I have just trimmed off the beginning and the end. So we've now got a 50-minute presentation without anything at the beginning or the end. As you look at the waveforms here of my 50-minute presentation, you can see that there are some parts here that are really quiet. Uh, if I go in here and play. So uh, the name was changed. This was a presentation about STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math programs in Yukon Public Schools. And there were different presenters who were different distances away from the recorder and also just spoke at different volumes. So what I'm going to do right now in Audacity is I have, again, edited this already. I'm just going to go into File, and I'm going to choose to export this as a wave. And I'm going to um, save this in, in my folder um, this will be the only wave file, just to make sure I know where this is going. So it is now exporting it as a wave. A wave is an uncompressed audio file, and so the program I'm going to be using to normalize this is called the Levelator, and the Levelator is free from the Conversations Network. You can download it, but it does require that the, the file that you put onto it or into it is uncompressed. So while this digital recorder makes things in MP3, I can't drop an MP3 directly onto the Levelator to get it to work and I'm going to want also probably to do some edits as I have now so I'm gonna go ahead and hide audacity and uh, this is actually where we're going to be publishing this. We just got a posterous site that we're uh, linking a little short description with some show notes and the audio but what I want to do now is I want to open up this program called the Levelator and again this is free it runs on Windows or Mac and you can see right underneath it it says drag and drop a wave or an I AIFF file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up my folder um, for my PD Reflection and I'm going, or sorry, PD Podcasts. And here's the WAV file. And this file for this 15 minute presentation is 527 megabytes. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag it and drop it here on top of the levelator. And you can see it's starting to process here. And what this is doing is it is normalizing the audio. So it is making the real quiet versions higher. If there's versions or if there's sections of it that are that are you know really loud, it's going to reduce those. But it is going to make this a much more uh, enjoyable and uh, easy to listen to experience for people that are going to that are going to listen to this podcast. I really do like it when we don't have to process audio like this and we can you know publish it with fewer clicks. But in cases like this where we've got especially multiple presenters and people are moving around, uh, it really is I think a much more user friendly and courteous and just professional thing to do to go ahead and normalize the audio. The time it takes to normalize is going to be depend <coughs> pardon me dependent on several factors. It's going to depend, of course, on the speed of your computer and your processor. It's going to depend how long the file is. You know, uh, this is a 50-minute file, and uncompressed, it's over 500 megabytes. If you're doing something shorter, obviously, that's going to take a shorter amount of time. Um, but what it is going to do is save a file that has um, the word output in it um, in the same folder where our original is. So we're not having to specify where we want this to go. The levelator is just going to automatically um, put it in the same folder location as, as the original, except it's going to append the word output. And you can see we're about 58% finished now. Um, I've been using this program for a couple years and uh, just really think it is a wonderful tool um, you don't really, from what I've seen, have any settings to put into the levelator. Um, one of the things to keep in mind is 
if you have created an edited podcast where you've done some fades and and let's say you've got bumpers you know that you would have at the beginning or the end of your audio and you've got those you know nicely uh, fading uh, it down into the background when your talking is coming in you don't want to run the levelator on that file uh, because it's going to normalize your fades and basically take them out. You want to run this program on your on your raw audio like I've done here. I've trimmed it, but um, you want to put in your fades and everything after this point. So complete. It is all done. And as I go down here to my folder, I can see that I've got that file uh, which has the output um, added to it and <clears throat> that looks great. So there's one more thing uh, that I'm going to go ahead and do before publishing this. This outputted WAV file is about the same size. It's 527 megs and I definitely don't want to publish a file that's that big. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to launch a little program that's called Switch. Switch is a program that you can use for free on both Mac and Windows or you can license it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, leave it set so the output is going to the same folder. I'm going to make this an mp3 file and I'm going to check my encoder options and I'm going to leave this set to 32. Now I actually have purchased this program uh, so that I could do lower bit rates down to like 16 kilobit but um, you can leave it at 32 and use the free version and again switch just like the levelator is cross-platform I'm using this on a Mac today but you can do this on a Windows computer as well um, I've gone ahead and left the stereo encoding on mono because the recorder that I'm actually using is a mono recorder it's not recording in stereo you might leave that at stereo if you have a stereo recording but I'm just going to go ahead and click OK and then click the lightning bolt here in the corner that says convert and so what this is doing is taking the uh, normalized WAV file, it is compressing it and making it into an MP3 file and it is using a setting for 32 kilobits. Now if you've downloaded music before from iTunes or from other locations, music files need a lot more quality and so the bit rate for those is usually going to be at least 128. I think the default for iTunes now may be 192 kilobits per second. But when it comes to the spoken word, audiobooks, or podcasts that we make of conference recordings, you do not need that much quality and in fact it's going to unnecessarily increase the size of your final file that you're going to be publishing. So we were at about 525 megabytes for the uncompressed wave version of this 50 minute presentation. Now as this converts we're going to go ahead and take a look at what the final version is so it says it's done. Again I'm going to look in the same folder that I was using before and here it is and the output file is just 12 megabytes so it is gone from a file that is um, 100 or 527 megabytes down to 12. So huge benefit there of the audio compression of, uh, of MP3. So let's just get a little visual to see what happens. This is my original file that I had put into the levelator and I wanted to normalize. I'm going to go ahead and show you in Audacity the waveform for what the normalized file looks like. So just opening up a new Audacity project, I'm going to import the outputted um, MP3 that was created there by Switch. So I've done two, uh, actually I've used three programs in this process. I used Audacity to trim off the front and the, and the end of the file. I have used the levelator to take a WAV file from Audacity to normalize it. And this is what you're seeing now. Visually, you can see that is the normalized file. Uh, here at the top, you've got two stereo channels, and you can see how there's so much here that's, you know, totally not at the same volume. Uh, now, close down schools, so we're really in a good situation. That volume is a lot louder. Over here, um, campus, it was very, very campus. quiet. So, just absolutely love Audacity. I think it's a great program. Um, but paired with these programs I've used today, the Levelator as well as the free program Switch, um, it, it makes a nice workflow for producing audio. So the last thing that I'm going to do, and I won't show you this whole process, but I'm going to go ahead and post to Audacity, and I'm going to use the web-based uh, feature there to post this audio, and Audacity is going to make this available for anyone to download. So if you'd like to check out this specific uh, podcast episode on um, STEM, you can go to the website. You can see here at the top, yukonpd.posterous.com. And that's uh, what I am publishing today for UConn Public Schools. Um, my main podcast and um, 
blog is speedofcreativity.org and if you click the link here underneath resources you can not only find the link to my podcast but I also have a supplementary podcast which I call Fuel for Educational Change Agents and this is a, a podcast much like the one I'm doing today for UConn not heavily edited at all, really just having the front and the back trimmed off of these and in many cases I will follow the same workflow to normalize the audio to try and make that a more pleasurable and consistent listening experience for folks that are going to listen to the podcast. So, hope that has been helpful. Check out those tools. Please send me a tweet if you happen to um, use any of uh, these tools. I'd love to hear about your podcast. I think more of us in education need to be seeking permission and then publishing online conference audio presentations like this because it gives us a chance to time and place shift and more folks have an opportunity to learn and be able to be influenced by great ideas. And that's a good thing. So, until next time, this is Wes Fryer from Yukon Public Schools wishing you a great day and encouraging you to be a stringer, be a volunteer podcaster at conference events and professional development events in your local community.